Okay, so slow moving asteroid A was hit by faster asteroid B. Asteroid B was absorbed by asteroid A as shown. So we can see a nice little diagram. State the principle of conservation of linear momentum. So this is something that you have to learn. We know that the sum, well, let's say the total moment, we're going to use that. Let's say the total momentum, momentum before a collision. is equivalent to the total momentum momentum after a collision provided that no external forces provided that no external force or let's say the resultant force in this case x no external force x or let's say in a closed or isolated system okay Let's move on to the next question. Before the collision, asteroid A had a velocity of about this and a momentum of about that. Find out the mass of the asteroid. So the mass of the asteroid, we have to use the momentum formula, which is equivalent to P is equivalent to mass times velocity. And we have to rearrange this to find out the mass, which is going to become the momentum divided by the velocity. So indirectly, mass is going to become the momentum, which is 1.80 times 10 raised to the power of 17. Right, write the units. By the way, very important that you write the units divided by your velocity, 2.19 times 10 raised to the power of 3 meters per second. Is going to divide using a calculator. So just plug in the values. I'm just going to use the calculator in this case. So if you use the calculator, you get 1.80 times 10 raised to the power of 17 divided by 2.19 times 10 raised to the power of 3 which is going to give you an answer of about 8.219 um, times 10 raised to the power of 13. 13 kilograms. So now what you can do is we have to round this off. So you're going to get mass is equivalent to 8.22 times 10 raised to the power of 13 kilograms. So this is going to be answer for about um, two marks. You're Showing your formula gets you one, one of the marks, and showing your final answer also gives you one of the marks. Show your calculation as well. It really helps. All right, let's move on to the next question. Calculate the velocity of the asteroids after the collision. The mass of the asteroid B was that, and the velocity of asteroid B before the collision was that. So now, for this one, I would like you guys to use the concept of the momentum and conservation. So, conservation of moments, right? We know that that mo the momentum is conserved as long as no external force acts on it, right? So we know that the total momentum, right, we can write that down, total momentum before the collision is equivalent to the total momentum after after the collision, okay? So it's using P equals M times V, where the momentum is equivalent to the mass times the velocity in this case. So I would like us to label our, um, I would like us to use this formula, M1, U1, plus M2, U2, is equivalent to M1, V1, plus M2, V2. This is the mass of 1, which is the mass of asteroid Hey, let me just get my formula sheet just to see if the formulas are all correct in this case. Yeah, this is not, uh, by the way, this formula is not there in the formula sheet. So what you have to do is you have to, it's your choice whether you want to learn this uh, formula or you could just directly just plug in into the momentum formula and equate it on both sides. Um, that could also work in this case. So if you look at the formula sheet, yeah, there seems to be, yeah, okay. So mass one. So the mass one in this case is going to be the mass of the asteroid, which we know is about 8.2 times 10 raised to the power of 13. So we know that the, we know before the collision, we know that asteroid A had that much velocity and a momentum of about that before it collided. So calculate the velocity of the asteroids after the collision. So the velocity of asteroid B before the collision was that. So indirectly, we're just going to find out 
what is the um let's say um what is the momentum before and the momentum after so in order to do that we have to look at the masses so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this all down here so we can see it more clearly so asteroid a had a velocity so this is going to be the velocity of asteroid a which is 2.19 times 10 raised to the power of 3 meters per second and the momentum uh, and the momentum of asteroid a which is going to become 1.80 times 10 of a before so 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of 17 and the mass of asteroid A, so the mass of asteroid A is roughly about 8.2 times 10 raised to the power of 13 kilograms. So we have th that kind of information written down. Now we know, we know the velocity in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down the mass of B as well. So we can see that here clearly. So 5.90 times 10 raised to the power of 12. And the total velocity the velocity of B, so we can say this before, before is equivalent to 15.0 times 10 raised to the power of 3. So what we have to do is to calculate the velocity of the asteroids after the collision. So now in order to do this, first of all, we're going to do, we're going to have the momentum of asteroid A before it, and we're going to add it with the momentum of the asteroid before uh, momentum of the asteroid B. So what we're going to do is momentum of A, right? Let me just reload this again. The momentum of A before plus the momentum of B before. So it's going to give us equivalent to the momentum of A before we know is 1.80 times 10 raised to the power of 17. Okay, 10 raised to the power of 17 this in this case, which is kilograms meters per second. So I'm just going to write that down, which is, yeah, which is also equivalent to in this case. So we're going to write kilograms meters per second, but then in brackets. Okay, and you're going to add it with the momentum of B before. So momentum of B, we're going to use P equals MV. So mass of asteroid is 5.90 times 10 raised to the power of 12. And we're going to multiply that by your velocity, in this case, which is 15.0 um, times 10 raised to the power of 3. This is going to be your total momentum, actually. This is going to be the total momentum before. So total momentum before, in this case. So we're going to put 1.8 times 10 uh, raised to the power of 17. I'm just going to plug these values just to get some good rounded off value, 5.90 times 10 raised to the power of 12 brackets times 15.0 times 10 raised to the power of 3. Put that in brackets as well. And we can see that it's going to give us 2.685 times 10 raised to the power of 17. This is the total momentum before, okay, remember? And this is the total momentum after we have to calculate that. So the total momentum, momentum after this is going to be the momentum of A after. So the momentum of A after, that's going to be, let's say, um, uh, if you look here, in this case, we're going to check the values, which one we have, and um, which one we have to look at. So we have to add up all the, all the masses together. So because, now the reason is because we know if we add up the total mass, of both asteroid A and B, and we multiply by the velocity, right? Since we know we have to calculate the velocity of the asteroids, of both the asteroids after the collision, that would indirectly help us get the momentum. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down, to find out the momentum, total momentum after, we're going to do the total mass of asteroids, okay? Total mass of the asteroids multiplied by the velocity. So we know the total mass of the asteroids. We know the mass of asteroid A to B about 8.2. 8.219 times 10 raised to the power of 13 kgs plus the mass of asteroid B, which is going to become 5.90 times 10 raised to the power of 12 kgs. 
and you're going to multiply that by the velocity which we have to find out in this question all right we have to find out the velocity all right multiply by that by the velocity so if i plug these into our calculator we're going to get a just for three marks we just need to show all our working i'm just writing down all the working for you guys just to see how to solve this question and to understand how this works so if you add this right you get 8.809 times 10 raised to the power of 13 v okay and once you do that we're going to rearrange this and since we know the total momentum before is equivalent to the total momentum after so total momentum before 2.685 times 10 raised to the power of 17 is equivalent to the before 8.809 times 10 raised to the power of 13 and velocity is 2.685 times 10 raised to the power of 17 divided by 8.809 times 10 raised to the power of 13 which is going to give you a final answer of about 2.685 times 10 raised to the power of 17 divided by 8.809 times 10 raised to the power of 13 which is going to give you a final answer of about 3048.01 meters per second you can round this off in standard figures so it gives you 3.048 times 10 raised to the power of 3. Um, if you plug that into your calculator, you should be getting the same exact value. I'm just going to check that. Yeah, okay. Um, meters per second. This is going to be answer. Okay. So it's going to become 3.048 times 10 raised to the power of 3 meters per second.